What's up and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I have for you the AIA Beauty Bundle for October of 2021. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. aware of what AIA Beauty Bundle is. It is a monthly beauty subscription and some of the boxes do feature skincare and hair care here and there. But what I loved about it the most and why I signed up for it last month was because it just features one brand. So you're going to get five to six full-size products in every box and it's going to be from one specific brand. This particular month, the brand that's featured for October is ColourPop. Now I love ColourPop, but some of the products I just kind of could take or leave. The boxes are said to have at least $100 in value and it is $35 every month. So I really think it's a great deal, I mean, for everything that you're getting. And here is what the box looks like when you open it. And there is a card in here, which they do include that, which gives us all the pricing and product info. So here is the ColourPop card. And then there is the back with all of the products. I am already spotting something that I really like in this box. All right, the first product I'm pulling out is the Act Natural Defining Mascara. I really love that they included a mascara in here because I have never tried a ColourPop mascara. And I do really like the packaging. It's super cute. It's just plain and simple. And I really like that a lot. Let's take a look at the wand and see if we can get any definition or volume from this. Okay, I'm loving this wand. Very, very good volumizing wand. And I can see that on the wand, there's no clumps, so that's a good sign. Second thing, let's see. So we've got something wrapped up in here. Let's see what this is all about. Soul Glow Body Oil. This is a rich body oil that gives the skin a hint of color and a touch of glow. This is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, faulty-free, and mineral oil-free. Now I could have used this over the summer when I actually had a tan. Well, kind of had a tan. I wish I'd had this in the summertime. I think this would have looked really nice over a tan. So not bad. I do wanna go ahead and test it really quick. It does have a little pump here. Very light shimmer to it. I'm impressed. I really like it. It doesn't feel too greasy. I was worried about that. Next up, I have a brow pencil. And let's see what shade this is. This is in taupe, so I'm definitely not gonna keep this. I don't know why brands keep putting taupe shades in these subscription boxes. I mean, I really wish that I could get a darker shade. I wear typically medium brown to dark brown for my brows. Not bad, but I'll have to put this aside for somebody because again, I don't use taupe. So unfortunately, that's a bust. But let's see what our next product is. Looks like we got a palette here. Color Vision Pressed Powder Palette. Packaging is on point. They've got the shades on the back, which I do love when brands do that. Packaging is pink, so that would make me think that it's pink. And the packaging is pretty cool. I love it. it. Almost reminds me of Natasha Denona, like the little five pan palettes that she has, how it just snaps closed like that. It just reminds me of that. Okay, so it's not all pink. We've got all neutrals, and then we've got like a hot pink for a little pop of color. So not bad. I'm probably not gonna keep this, so I'm not gonna swatch it because I have a million palettes with all these shades in it already and I really don't need any more. So I will put that aside for someone. Next up, we have the So Juicy Plumping Gloss. And again, another product I'm gonna put aside because y'all know I don't wear plumping lip glosses. I don't like them and I don't think that they really do anything. Looks like a pretty shade though, so that's a shame. I love these little tubes, like these kind of lip glosses. I just wish it wasn't plumping. I would totally rock this. Like, look at that color. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Why does it have to be plumping? Why can't it just be like regular lip jelly? I would love that. Oh, well. Moving on to the next product. This is the Super Shock Cheek. I have their Super Shock Shadows, like their lime green one is so pretty. I have that but I've never tried anything for the cheeks. So I'm interested and curious about that. So it looks like a really pretty neutral shade. I'll totally rock this. This is so nice. Oh my gosh, it literally feels like a butter. It's so creamy. So there is the shade right there. It's just a light shimmer to it, but it's very neutral. I think it's really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. There's a close look of it. 
so pretty. If you guys could feel it, again, it feels just like butter. I love it. I am like obsessed with their Super Shock line. All right, next up I have the Fourth Ray, the Daily Facial Moisturizer. So this looks really interesting. I've never heard of this brand, and you guys know I love my skincare. Even though I've been getting a lot of skincare and subscriptions lately, kind of over it, but this does look a little interesting. So this is a product that does is oil-free. It is ideal for all skin types. It does have squalene and fruit and vitamin E in it. So that does sound really nice. The packaging is really pretty. I love this like peach neutral shade. I do want to smell it and see if it has a scent. Okay, so far no, but let's check it out. There's the product right there. It's a really good consistency for a moisturizer. And it's fragrance free. That makes my day because I do not like fragrance on my face. I say it often and I'm very happy that this does not have a scent to it. Now, I do like the squalene because it is known to replenish and support healthy skin and give you an improved moisture retention immediately and over time. So I do like that. The vitamin E is supposed to help give you antioxidants back into your skin. And the lychee, I think that's how you say it, lychee fruit, that is supposed to be rich in vitamin C, vitamin B complex, and it also gives you more nutrients, which helps to promote healthy and clear skin. Two more things left in the box. I'm saving the best for last though. Next up, I have another palette. This is the Neon Gaze palette. I do really like these little five pan palettes. I think that they're really awesome items you can throw in your bag to kind of freshen up your makeup throughout the day. Love this packaging. I'm all about the neon. I have to say that this palette I think is better than the pink one that I showed you guys because I just love these shades. And again, more neutral shades with a pop of color with that lime neon green in the middle. So I do really like that, but I'm still not sure if I'm gonna keep either of the two palettes, so I'm not gonna swatch it, but they are pretty. So let's go ahead and move on to the last item in the box, and it is a brush collection. And you guys, I cannot believe that they put a brush collection in this ColourPop box. It has a ribbon right around here that you just pull the string and you just kind of unfold it from there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so nice. Look at this. Look at this brush set. Oh my gosh, I love this. 14 brushes in here. Wow, you know what? This could not have come at a more perfect time because I really need some new brushes in my life. I've been using the same brushes for so long, so I'm really happy about this. This is the Kit Ultimate Brush Roll. This is the Ultimate Brush Set. This faux leather brush roll collection includes 14 vegan and cruelty-free brushes that will help you create any look on your eyes or your face. I really think that this was great. I love this brush specifically. This brush right here, the F18, I would definitely use for my bronzer. I think that this is just a really nice, oh, this feels so nice. I love this. Look at this brush. Such a nice brush. I can definitely feel like I'd use it for blush or kind of, you know, put a little bronzer on my face. I cannot wait to clean these brushes and just use these. I am so excited. I'm probably gonna clean these tonight, actually. So yeah, they do feel really soft. The bristles feel really nice. It doesn't feel cheap. I can go like this and none of the bristles are coming out like some of the brushes that I currently have. I really like this. I think that these are really nice brushes. What do you guys think? Would you be happy to receive a collection like this? I am really stoked. I am just really over the moon about it. Now that wraps everything up for the AIA Beauty Bundle box featuring ColourPop for October. What did y'all think about it? Let me know. I really want to know your thoughts on this one. Do you think that it was worth the $35 and do you see the value in this box? Now my thoughts are absolutely. I mean, so far, I've been really impressed with the subscription. I think that that right there made the entire box. And I definitely think that it was worth it for sure. So I will put the retail value up for everything on the screen and I will link everything for AIA Beauty down below as well. I don't know who November's box is gonna feature yet. I'm sure it's gonna be somebody amazing and I am so excited to find out. So with all that being said, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video. And of course, definitely subscribe on your way out. I post new content every Tuesday and you do not want to miss out on that. So I will see all of you guys in my next video. And until next time, bye guys.